Hey everybody, it's the Concordial Collab, and my tripod is... Well, my tripod isn't missing, but the clip that connects the camera to the tripod is missing. So, I'm on the floor. In this wonderful, wonderful doggy position. First of all, I was talking to Megan on Wednesday, and she couldn't post because she's really busy. She told me all this stuff she's got to do, and it sounds very stressful, and writing dissertations, and doing this and doing that, so uh, she couldn't post this week, but she told me to tell you guys that she really misses posting, and she misses you guys, and she wants to, she wants to, she's just too busy at the moment, but sh she won't be gone for long. <coughs> Adam, I know how you feel about stopping something you're addicted to, and then, uh, by the way, that coke with ice in it, oh, how my mouth was watering. Even though it was Coke Zero, and I'm not a fan of aspartame, but uh, yeah, I think aspartame is just as bad for you as sugar. It's bad for your organs and stuff. I think we we kind of talked about it when we met, but I think it's just as bad. Like it's not worse. It's just as bad, in my opinion. But anyhow, I don't like it. I'm not drinking any of it, and but I still. Just seeing that coke in that glass, I was like, whoa, that looks good. But anyhow, I know what you mean with, with uh, because when I think about quitting smoking, uh, my life, it's like, well, I have to live, I have to I have to do things. I can't just s s s lay in bed and just sweat and like the guy in train spotting and sweat it out or whatever. I'm going to have to do things and I can't, I can't even function without cigarettes. You're doing that play? And uh, my roommate's actually really big into uh, to mm -hmm. stuff like that, not plays, but uh, the Third Reich or whatever. He's actually reading The Rise and Fall of the Third Reich right now. And I would love to go to that play, but I don't go to plays because I have nobody to go with. What? When I was in that drama group, I had people, but now I don't. So that's kind of sad, but maybe someday I'll meet somebody who wants to go to a play. Glad I could make you guys laugh. I'm glad you guys laughed at my video. That was good. Melanie, I'm sorry I'm not making this one very funny. I'm all out of jokes, so... Um, but, uh, glad I could do it one week, at least. And, uh, NaNoWriMo, I'm, I'm still behind, too, but I'm falling more behind. I'd like to say I'm catching up, but I'm, I'm falling behind a little, but, uh, I'll get to it. I'll do it. And my story is, when I told you what my story was about, that's not what it's about anymore. It's, uh, it's, uh, gone in a different direction, and it's kind of good. The, the, the line between f fiction and truth is kind of getting blurred, because I'm kind of using a lot of real things, because it's, the, the character's in a psych ward right now, so it's a little close to home, but I'm writing it. And uh, you're writing to your friend in jail. Did I did I ever tell you guys that I was in jail once? I was. I was in jail once. If you guys want to hear that story, just let me know and I'll tell you a crazy story about the time I was in jail. <laughs> Drinking, Melanie. That's a really... Uh, you guys are at a disadvantage because you have a higher age limit. So, like, around here, we start drinking around 12, 13 years old. And then by the time we get to 18, we're we're ready to drink but uh then and then by the time we're 21 we're we're pros and you guys by the time you're 21 you you're about at the 18 level and when at 18 I did a lot of stupid things when I was 18 like I used to be a terrible drunk but now I'm not as bad but I can still do some stupid things I, I wouldn't say I, I can always maintain because then next weekend I'll, or not weekends, so next time I'll, uh, I might get out of hand, but, you know, I don't want to jinx it. So this girl sends me this letter. If you are open to the idea of accepting offers on your home, it may be in your best interest to talk to me first. Blah, 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 right? So I called her back and I said, yep, yeah, our home, we're looking to sell it. She goes, oh great, and I said, yeah, that's why we have a for sale sign in the front yard. I am Triangle Man. See you tomorrow, Adam. Where's my head?